The Salesforce integration, available for enterprise users, allows you to automatically sync emails to Salesforce and also view Salesforce within your inbox so you have it when and where you need it. To ensure that your emails sync to Salesforce, make sure that in your sidebar you have the sync email to Salesforce toggled on. Now, as you're emailing your recipients, as long as they have an email address that matches a contact or lead record in your Salesforce environment, that email is going to sync over to Salesforce. And it's going to include the subject line and the body of the outbound email, as well as the subject line and body of the incoming reply. And any notices of opens, link clicks, attachment views, all of that will automatically sync over to Salesforce. And you'll be able to see it on the contact or lead record. Again, it just has to have that matching email address and you'll be able to see it on the activity history. And this is how it's going to display. It will have the message sent, and then the subject line, the reply, and then the subject line, a link click, and then the subject line. So it all shows up in the activity history. And if it is a contact, you can also go to the account record and see the same information on the activity history on the account record. And if it is a contact that has been assigned as a contact role on an open opportunity, we will also see that on the opportunity level. So bare minimum, if it's a contact, it's going to show up on the contact record and the account record. And if the contact has been assigned as a contact role on an opportunity, it will show up on the opportunity, account, and the contact. If it's a lead, it will just show up on the lead record because leads don't associate with any of those other objects. Now, if you're writing an email to someone who is not in your Salesforce environment, we will not be able to sync this email to Salesforce since we don't have anywhere to send it. It will only sync to the contact or lead record of an existing email address in Salesforce. Now, you actually might notice as I'm typing in these different addresses here in the to field, the Salesforce section is actually updating on its own. For example, when I type in this address here, I can click view Salesforce profile and I can view information related to my recipient directly from their record page in Salesforce. So as I'm reaching out to this person, if I need to be checking any fields within Salesforce or just looking at the activity history for context, I can see and check if they have any open opportunities. That's all going to display right here in this sidebar. Now when I enter in a brand new email address, this sidebar is going to update. It's actually going to prompt me to enter this recipient as a new contact or lead record in Salesforce. So essentially we'll look to see if the recipient is in Salesforce and if not, then we'll allow you to create the contact or lead record. And the sidebar is reflective of your Salesforce environment. So you're going to have your required fields as well as any of your custom fields so that you can go through, fill in the blanks, and then save it now as a new person in Salesforce going forward. So that way any new emails that you send to this recipient will now automatically log to Salesforce.
Now the same actually holds true in the inbox. If you're clicked into an email to or from a recipient and you have your Salesforce tab open, it's going to pull up the contact or lead record in the sidebar. You can make edits, also search for recipients using the search bar. You can click into the account level. You can click into any of the activity history, as well as opportunities. You can create new tasks, events, log a call, or create new opportunities right from within the sidebar. So essentially the sidebar serves as a mini instance of Salesforce to keep you where you're already spending all of your time and to give you access to the things you need in Salesforce, where you need them and when you need them.